The Earth's oceans are home to an astonishing amount of water, roughly around 350 quintillion gallons. When we dip a bucket into the ocean and all we see is water, it's a powerful reminder that there's more beneath the surface. It points to the hidden ecosystems and vast wonders lurking in the depths of the universe. In the grand scheme of things, our explorations represent just a small fraction, but they've already unveiled potential habitats on exoplanets. Today, let's delve into the mysteries of these promising Kepler worlds and imagine life on these alien planets. Scientists are on the quest to find twin Earths, planets that closely resemble our own. A twin Earth is similar in size, increasing the likelihood of having a solid, rocky surface. It's also vital for a planet to orbit a star, much like our Sun, at a suitable distance within the habitable zone. Let's take a closer look at Kepler, 452b, discovered in 2015. It was the first Earth-like planet found orbiting a Sun-like star. Scientists believed it was the most Earth-like for a few good reasons. Like our Sun, Kepler, 452 is a G-type star with a similar temperature, though it's older. It's brighter and slightly larger than our Sun, and Kepler, 452b receives about 10% more sunlight than Earth. This exoplanet is approximately 1.6 times the size of Earth, making it a strong candidate for a rocky planet. Its orbit is similar to Earth's, and it resides in the habitable zone, albeit a bit farther. Spending 6 billion years in its star's habitable zone gives Kepler, 452b an advantage in developing life. Recent findings suggest that Kepler, 452b meets some conditions for habitability. One study showed that if it has an atmosphere like Earth's, with carbon dioxide, CO2, it could be habitable. But what would it be like to live on this alien planet? Due to its larger size, Kepler, 452b would have stronger gravity, making people feel about twice as heavy. Over time, we'd adapt, much like firefighters carrying heavy gear. Our bodies would grow stronger through physical activity, countering the strong gravity. Generations born on Kepler, 452b might be stronger than those from Earth. Despite these differences, Kepler, 452b would feel familiar, with similar sunlight, temperatures, and the possibility of an atmosphere, water, and even volcanoes. While Kepler, 452b is exciting, there are other promising Kepler worlds, though they are quite far away. It takes light 1,800 years to reach this exoplanet. So, what about our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe? It's impressive, but it's only 0.063% of the speed of light. A direct trip from Earth to Kepler, 452b would still take an astonishing 2.8 million years. Now, let's turn our attention to Kepler, 186f, located 500 light-years away in the Cygnus constellation, orbiting a red dwarf star. Here, scientists found the first Earth-sized exoplanet within the habitable zone, and there could be more such worlds out there. Kepler, 186f is slightly larger than Earth, with a longer year and colder conditions, somewhat similar to Mars. However, this might not be a drawback, as it could help avoid deadly solar flares from its star. The potential for life on Kepler, 186f also depends on its atmosphere. Its larger size could mean a denser atmosphere, potentially supporting liquid water. While other planets in the system are too hot for life, Kepler 186f's conditions are intriguing. Although it would take a long time to reach, with the development of faster spacecraft in the future, our descendants might explore it. Kepler 186f has a dimmer star, akin to the hour before sunset on Earth. This stable climate on the planet could support life, and its large moon might play a significant role. In 2020, Kepler, 1649c was discovered, initially mistaken for a false positive. We don't know much about it yet, but its conditions might resemble Earth's. Kepler, 1649c gets less starlight, but that doesn't necessarily mean freezing conditions. Even Earth would be colder without greenhouse gases. The atmosphere and other factors could make Kepler, 1649c more Earth-like. In the Kepler, 62 system, there are two planets in the habitable zone, Kepler, 62e, and Kepler, 62f. These planets might be water-rich and have features that make them interesting for potential habitability. Kepler, 62 could potentially have a warm, humid climate, and a large moon might further boost its habitability. Despite being far away, these exoplanets hold tremendous promise. While Kepler, 452b, Kepler, 186f, and others seem distant, we're making strides in our understanding, even if they're not yet ideal for human habitation. Planets change over time, just like Earth did, and our search for habitable planets continues. 
Perhaps, someday, we'll find a twin Earth not too far away. Scientists tell us that Kepler-186f is quite similar to Earth when it comes to seasons and climate. It maintains a steady tilt, which means it experiences regular seasons, just like we do. The stability of Kepler-186f's tilt is a significant factor in its potential habitability. A wobbly tilt can cause significant problems, turning a potentially comfortable planet into a harsh, barren one. For example, Mars might have experienced this in the past, which is why it's not so welcoming now. When we're searching for a Goldilocks planet, we're essentially looking for the perfect match. Sometimes, we stumble upon incredible discoveries by sheer accident, like the case of Kepler, 1649 c. In 2020, scientists came across Kepler, 1649 c by chance. Initially, it was mistaken for something else, but now we realize it could be quite Earth-like. It's closer to its star, so it might have temperatures like our planet. Although it might seem chilly without a specific type of atmosphere, Earth would also be cold without the right gases. There are other planets out there that share similarities with Earth in terms of temperature or size. Some notable ones include Trappist-1 planets like Trappist-1e, Trappist-1g, and Trappist-1d, as well as TOI-700d. These are not too far away, unlike Kepler-1649c, which requires quite a long journey. Speaking of journeys, let's discuss Kepler-442b. It orbits a star at roughly half the distance between Earth and the Sun, but don't worry, it's not too close to become entangled in the star's gravity. Kepler-442b enjoys an advantageous position in its star system. The star is cooler and dimmer than our Sun, which actually works in favor of the exoplanet. Scientists appreciate these types of stars because they provide a nice balance of conditions for potentially habitable planets. Now, let's evaluate just how promising Kepler-442b truly is. Scientists have a method for assessing a planet's potential to support life, which involves giving planets a score based on various factors. Kepler-442b received a pretty decent score, around 0.84. However, it's somewhat challenging to observe this planet directly, and even harder to reach. The fastest spaceship we currently possess would take about 1.7 million years to get there. But there's more to our understanding of these planets. Scientists study aspects like radiation to learn about an exoplanet's potential for life. Kepler-442b has piqued our interest in this regard as well. So, even though these exoplanets may appear distant and difficult to explore, each discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of whether we're alone in the universe or if there's more waiting to be discovered. This planet receives just the right amount of sunlight needed to potentially support a wide variety of life. The James Webb Space Telescope, a powerful tool, might help us uncover signs of life there. Speaking of telescopes, let's shift our focus to two more intriguing planets nearby, which belong to the same star family known as Kepler-62. It's as though they're residing in the same cosmic neighborhood. Within this family, there are a trio of planets that are too close to the star, making it too hot for comfort. These planets are out of the comfort zone. However, Kepler-62e and Kepler-62f have found the sweet spot, not too hot and not too cold. These planets are remarkable because they might have a lot of water, think oceans and rivers, much like Earth. Scientists have assigned them a similarity score to Earth, indicating how closely they resemble our planet. Kepler-62e scored 0.83, while Kepler-62f got a score of 0.69, which is a pretty good match. Kepler-62e completes a short trip around its star every 122 days. On the other hand, Kepler-62f prefers a slower orbit, taking 267 days to complete its journey. Kepler-62e seems to have a cloudy sky, but that doesn't stop it from having warm and humid weather, even at the North and South Poles, akin to living in a tropical paradise. Here's an interesting idea, Kepler-62e might have a really big moon, which is a good thing because moons help planets behave. They keep a planet's spin in check, affecting its weather, and they can act like bodyguards, shielding the planet from space rocks. Kepler-62f, though a bit cooler, still holds potential for life. However, things might be a bit different there. For instance, constructing metallic objects might be challenging because it requires certain materials and heat. It's a bit like attempting to build a sandcastle without any sand. Despite these challenges, nature has a way of surprising us, just as Earth has evolved over time. Imagine sending a message to these planets. 
using our fastest technology, it could take over a million years to reach them. However, if we send a radio signal, it could get there in just 1,200 years, a mere blip in the grand timeline of the universe. Kepler, 62E and Kepler, 62F might not be exactly like Earth right now, but who knows what the future holds. Our own planet has undergone significant changes, and these planets might transform as well. They could become more Earth-like, with land and water working in harmony. And who knows, they might even be home to some extraordinary creatures, just as we have flying fish. It's a fascinating thought that there's a good chance a planet similar to Earth could be lurking not 